Bro, this got to be one of the craziest stories that I've uh, heard of yet, man. A crash out after a crash out. Basically, double crash outs going on um, back to back for this guy by the name of Lydell Grant. Lydell Grant was uh, charged with a murder back in 2000 and I want to say 12. Let's actually pull it up. We got it right here. Lydell Grant was charged for a murder back in in 2012 or 2010 and convicted in 2012 and served nine years in prison he was later exonerated of the charge and declared innocent in may 2021 after a dna analysis now this story is crazy because he was exonerated but then recently charged on a murder shooting Houston man charged in fatal shooting, which was exonerated in 2012, slaying bond set to $1 million. Now, apparently, he was like a little road rage event that something happened. Both cars approached an intersection, and Toyota uh, reportedly had the right of way. And Alexis went through the intersection and was struck by the Toyota. Grant reportedly got out of the vehicle and shot the Toyota multiple times before driving away from the scene. So, apparently, some simple road rage. Crash went down, do got Alexis shot until the vehicle got in and and, and dipped out um it's it, it it reminds me a little bit of the uh Stephen avery story but not to the same degree as far as how deep that one is but basically Stephen avery uh was charged of a murder he was then found not guilty later on i think due to the actual dude like snitching on himself and after serving i want to say like 15 something years in jail for that murder he was let out of jail the state had to give him like some crazy boatload of money, but like right before he got that money, he was then convicted of another murder, which he's in actual jail for now. Now, whether or not he did that murder, it's still been up to the debate. There's been a Netflix documentary about it. It's been a lot of crazy things about that, but you got this guy now here, Lydell Grant, you know, reportedly stabbing someone, going to jail for nine years, getting out. So I wonder if he made some money for it, you know, for that, like misidentification, but then going right back in for shooting, bro. Um, quite crazy, but we got to wait and see. I've been reading, you know, people saying that they think that, you know, they were trying to set him up probably for the same exact reason. Man, what is this, man? Come on, let's get this right. What is like, what is this, bro? Just skip it, skip it, skip it. Come on, man. Bro, what is this, man? With a case that you may remember and that we've highlighted here on the Factor Uncensored several times. Uh, let's see. Now, after serving nine years in prison for a crime he did not commit, Lydell Grant stopped by the Factor just hours after his release. It was a joyous day, but now, after the real murderer confessed to the 2010 murder, the Texas Appeals Court is asking Lydell and his team to do the legwork to prove that Lydell didn't do it, even though there's DNA, I... So you gotta be... It's innocent till proven guilty, but they want him to prove his innocence in that case. That's kind of crazy. Witnesses and a confession from the alleged killer. Let's take a look. DNA absolutely exonerates Mr. Grant. Okay, so this is actually the one he was exonerated. I want to see the actual new story here. The grant program sponsored by Wells Fargo Bank offers to get some of those. Bro, what is this? Sponsored by Wells. Nah, man, we need to hear about the actual story of this dude, bro. Let me see. Nah, well. Let me see. Cut. Breaking overnight, Bond has set at $1 million for a man accused of murdering another driver after a crash. It turns out this suspect was actually released from prison more than three years ago for another murder, which he was ultimately found innocent of. Wow. ABC 13's Rosie Wynn is live in downtown Houston. Rosie, we have covered Lydell Grant's story quite extensively over the last couple of years. What's the latest? Erica and Jeff, Lydell Grant's story made national headlines three years ago after he was first exonerated for a fatal stabbing in 2010. Now he's in trouble with the law again after Houston police say he is involved with a fatal road rage shooting. Road rage is insane, bro. I've been in some road rage situations. People get really heated, bro. It's way, it happens way more than you think, especially shootings in road rage. It happens a lot more. A joyous day for Lydell Grant and his family back in November 2019. I feel rejuvenated. Uh, 
I feel free now. It was the day. Yeah, you free, nigga. You out of jail, nigga. Grant was released from prison after serving. <laughs> he said, "I feel rejuvenated. I feel free." Yeah, nigga, you just got. Yeah, that's what you are. Years of a life sentence for the fatal stabbing of a man outside of a Montrose bar in 2010. With the help of the I can only imagine. Project of Texas, new DNA evidence, and a confession from the actual stabber, Grant was officially exonerated in 2021. Being locked up. If I ain't learned nothing else, I learned how to have patience. But nearly. Wow. I learned how to have patience. It makes me wonder if this dude's even like really guilty. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, as I've always told y'all, but recently there have been some weird conspiracies going on. Man, I've been, I've been bringing up conspiracies, but I wonder, you know, Steve Avery's thing is kind of sus too, man. You know, you never know, man. Things are wicked. Two years later, Grant could be heading back to prison. Houston police say they were called to a road rage shooting Thursday around 11.50 p.m. near Hiram Clark Road and Brentwood Park Drive. Investigators believe Grant and another woman were leaving a corner store when he ran a stop sign, causing a Toyota to hit him. They say Grant allegedly got out of his car and then fired multiple shots through the windshield of the Toyota before getting back into Damn. his car and taking off. The driver of the Toyota, Edwin Arevalo, died at the scene. There was surveillance footage from a nearby gas station. That's wild, that bro. The, uh, the incident. So the court is concerned for community safety. In a statement to ABC 13, a spokesperson for the Innocence Project of Texas wrote, quote, we are saddened by the news of this tragic event and our thoughts and sympathies go out to the victim's family. We stand behind Mr. Grant's previous exoneration, which was granted by the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. The defense mentioned that Grant has been running his own home cleaning business and has been working to support himself and help his mother out. His bond has been set at $1 million. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Rosie Wynn. That's crazy. 13 Eyewitness News. So, yeah, so I, I definitely kind of want to see this uh, story play out in a way because uh, it's definitely wild. You feel me? Um, Salute, you might see they got the new camera on deck as well. You know, uh, I definitely have been slacking on the live streams, but I hope to be getting back into the shape of things. I uh, got some editing stuff going on, some faster editing is going to be going down, so I will be able to have more time to go live with you guys and girls over here more than likely. But I think I'm going to have to start doing multiple stories. I don't think, like, for instance, if I would have went live with this, bro, it would have been just too easy. Like, it would like we, this is a simple video. So big topics, multiple topics, be expecting it how i would do it and how i want to do it moving forward because i want to make sure that when i am going live i have enough content to get me through an hour you know even the last stream we did with the btb savage um i just felt like it wasn't long enough so i want to make sure when i am going live i'm going live for a solid reason and for a good amount of time so stay tuned for that i love y'all appreciate y'all and uh yeah i'm out peace